Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Benchmark I video. To take the I had a video already ready. Mind. I could have just like posted oh, it today, but I feel like I just wanted to yeah, I'm I'm the, the Zadik, I see you doing the essay first like too. I'm gonna question you want to the question of the OAL benchmark. Well, it's fresh and mind, it's okay. what basically pre prefixes roots or suffixes, suffixes is what we're basically doing for the LAL test. And I'm on question four. I just have to do part two of question four so you have to it's like it gives you the starter word and then you have to figure out like the ending so like the this one for question four it was joy and then o-u-s and the choices were joy lee joy chin t-o t-i-o-n and then joy anti a-n-t-i and i chose um joyous i don't know how to pronounce that g joy o-u-s so now I have to do the, do the second part, and it says just, and so you do the word, and then you just click the cl correct definition for that word. So, question five, there's 10 questions, and then I have to do my writing essay. I have completed my writing essay, I just did not submit it yet, and so far I think we only have two benchmarks today. I'm in my first class LEL, like my homeroom teacher. And then I don't think we're doing social studies today. And then my math teacher, I don't think we have any benchmarks to do for math class. So I think if I don't have any benchmarks to do for surface science or math or whatever, then basically I only have two benchmark two benchmarks today. I'm on question five currently. So I'm, this clip is kind of is like a minute long, so let's make it all right. Clip. I'm on question question five, like I said. So let me see the choices. Nominate. Okay, so um, the ending word was innate. So the choices were bionate, geonate, multinate, and nominate. And basically, I chose nominate. And now we're going to click the definition. So an error in naming a person or thing. The act of officially voting for a candidate. The act of naming a candidate for an election. The act of giving a nickname to a person. I think it's C. The act of naming a candidate a candidate for an election. For election. Now the next one is number six. Graph. The last one is a graph. Now we have to choose the thing. Phil graph, nam graph, phonograph, subgraph. I think it's phonograph because my teacher, she was like, you're never going to see the word phone on your life again. Probably like that. So I'm thinking that the answer is phonograph. Now let's click the definition. So A, a machine that can record it and produce sound. B, related to a human speech and sounds. C, the study of sounds and music. D, a person who amplifies sounds through. Sounds and music. Relating. No. I think it's A, a machine that can record and produce sound. Because phono has something to do with sound. Okay, ischial. It's judicial. The choices were anti-ischial, legischial, transitional, and then judicial. And having to do with courts or judges, is it's C. So D, without rules. B, able to carry across a space. And hey, Gianna, what's up? Having good taste. I chose C. Having to do with courts. Yeah, you don't need to ask me. Or judges. I'm gonna get. Yeah. I'm gonna do the last two questions. I'm gonna question eight. I'm gonna do eight, nine. I'm gonna do eight, nine, and ten. And I'll see you guys when I submit my benchmark. Just finished my LAO benchmark. I submitted it and everything. Now I am currently oh, on the I writing benchmark. What? So I've gotten a lot done on the writing yes. benchmark. I'm just going to read through it and just add some touches. And then once again, I'm going to submit. And then I'm going to ask the teacher what to do after that and what time is it hold on it's 10 45 so i'm gonna do, I'm gonna spend like five ten minutes just focusing on my writing and seeing if there's any mistakes that i need to fix up clear up and all that stuff so i'll see you guys once i submit my writing benchmark so yeah okay so i just finished reading my writing benchmark like my reading i mean the writing i said the writing thing that i just did and i um, did this like 
I think it was Wednesday or Thursday. No, yeah, I did it on Wednesday, and I just read over it to make sure there was no mistakes. I correct, I, I corrected one mistake, so now I'm going to ask the teacher if I can submit. Alessandra, can I submit my um, roots benchmark, please? Yeah. Thank you. Ariana? Can I submit my writing benchmark? Yeah, you guys don't need to ask me to submit these benchmarks, okay? You need to, you guys can be responsible for them, okay? Just make sure you have everything you need. Okay. Okay. Uh, Fernanda, how about you? Is that the same question? I was going to ask if I could submit the writing benchmark, but I just heard you tell Ariana that we could just submit. Yeah, yeah. So what do we do after that? Okay, so now I'm just going to I'm gonna just message the teacher on Go Guardian. Actually, is that it? Um, are these tests due on class time or? I'm just gonna ask her what later this asking? day. You submit. Um, I want to try to um, get them done today, um, but if we don't, I'm hoping we have Monday. I'm going to talk to my boss. Okay, thank you. You got it. Um, I'm going to wait for her to get to my question. <laughs> I'll see you guys when the teacher answers my question because um, I think she's doing something right now. So give me a sec. So the teacher said that we can go on to Epic the reading program I was talking to you guys about on Tuesday's video, which you can go check out now. Um, or like after this video. <laughs> I don't know. But, um, now I'm going to just read. I'm um, just going to read the chapter book that my dad assigned to me to read because it's about Hank Aaron. He died last Friday. So I'm just going to read this for about as long as we have and then get back to it after school because i know i don't have 20 minutes right now to do the reading so i'm just going to read the book and i'll see you guys when i get into my next class okay so my math teacher she just came so we're on like a two minute break i'm gonna go use the bathroom and stuff and i'll keep you guys updated for whatever so um we're i'm submitting my biosphere assignment and she said to go over any missing work and so i have to check if i have any missing work if i don't I think we go on success maker. So well, if she has Go Garden so open, I, I will message her Go Garden and, and then submit the stuff. Um, the so I think we'll come back into school. Just work on science it now and figuring. message me the ones that you have done already, <laughs> like the names, so I know what you. So done. I'm going to be submitting okay. my bio. My, I'm going to be. Yeah. I'm submitting my bio. You can even take a picture my and email it to me so I can assignment. see what you wrote in your notebook. It's like the okay. science assignment that I worked on yesterday with my best friend, Crystal. Um, oh, okay, that's okay. Just write me like 6 2, 4 1. You don't have to write the name so like that. I'll see you guys when I'm on power school. So I just asked the teacher if um if we go on success maker for math if we have any missing work and she had said yes so i'm going to just check if i have any missing work i'm currently just logging into power school <sighs> let me check my math and science classes to see if i have any missing work i have to go all the way to the bottom when we like first did school st math 100 100 69 75 80 out of 80 70 100 um Okay. Okay. So ooh, I just like hit the camera. It's like super windy outside. Like you can like hear it. It's so windy outside. So now I'm gonna check if I have any missing work in science class. I don't have any missing work in math class, which is really good. Handing in all my assignments. Okay, the biosphere I just handed that in, so I'm pretty sure the teacher didn't have a chance to grade that in. Is Earth a system? I handed that in Wednesday or yesterday. I think I handed that in yesterday. Okay, now let's check if I have any missing assignments. 
my mat, my science grids actually do look pretty good. I'm not, I'm not mad at them. They're pretty good. I don't have any missing work for both of my classes. Double dash means they haven't been graded yet, but one dash means that they have been great and I haven't it I have not submitted yet so now I'm going to go on success maker for math class so let me go in math okay so I'll see you guys for I think my teacher had said that we have benchmarks next week so I think this will be like like a school vlog drag it also like a benchmark a uh, benchmark vlog as well so yeah i'm gonna like end the vlog when like school's over it's currently 11 21 and school ends at 12 39 my dad's coming to pick me up to, sp Angelica. to spend the weekend with him i'm super super excited for that because like i can't the last time i spent a uh, night at my dad's house was like for winter break so i'm very yes. excited to spend you're asked a chemist assignment that you so, submitted yeah. okay sorry he's like okay. the i was talking thank you i thought the students gonna get in trouble so i didn't want to have that on camera but yeah i'm gonna like pack for that after school and stuff like that but you won't see that because it's gonna this is like a school vlog stuff like that so i'm gonna start my success maker and i'll see you guys when i'm doing the math lesson if we, even have to a math, this if we even have a math lesson today i hope we do it we do i think we're doing 11-4 and yesterday we didn't do our quick check, so I think we might have it do, might have a quick check today. I'm not sure, but yeah, I'm gonna do my success maker. So I'll see you guys for whatever I do next in my second, in my in math class, science class, whatever. Me on a break, I'm not laying in bed. My beanbag fell, so I'm just like laying down on it, waiting till the teacher says it's time to come back. So we're gonna be doing the math lesson. I'll record some pieces from the math lesson and end the video. It's currently like 12:17, 12 something. So yeah, the the video will be ending soon, but don't. Worry. I'll be getting some clips from that. We're working with prisms, but we're working with word problems when we work with these prisms, okay? So I'm going to pull up that lesson and we'll look at the solve and share. So we're doing, Give me one second, please. We're doing. Oh, Mr. Diolio, did you get my email? <laughs> yes, I, I get your email. I okay, actually. Perfect. So right we're doing 11-4 lesson, a, so oh, perfect. Um, Thank we you. just Thank like yeah. came back from break, it is currently 11-20, okay, so, I, I, so I let we'll let do you know, uh, over very soon, so she said we're going to do this all, we should do a couple of examples, okay. we'll be done, and I have a science benchmark on Monday, so I'll just put, if I have it on Tuesday, I can also film that day as well. So yeah, let's hope for the best for the rest of today, I'm super exhausted after school i'm like gonna clean up my room a bit like put my pillows back on my bean bag and all that stuff so put my school stuff away take a shower all that stuff get dressed because my dad will be picking me up today like i said i'm spending the, the weekend with him and everything so yeah the teacher's pulling up the solvent chair right now i was having some cheetos because i got a little hungry and i also have some ginger ale I got this yesterday and it was in the fridge. I'm just pulling up the, the lesson. I don't like to see people would see, I don't want people to see me like drinking in class and stuff, even though I drink water in class, I think. I just, I don't know, it's something else when I'm drinking like this. Alright, so again, 11 4 <laughs> using word problems to solve. Let's see the screen. Now, let's look at our solve and share. I will share the screen. Okay. <laughs> So I just wrote in my notebook 11-4. I've been taking digital notes like on my iPad lately, but I'm just deciding to do it in my notebook finally. Cause my Can dad... everyone see the screen? Yes. I wanted to see my notebook. A school stuff, has so. two weeks, each of which is a rectangular prism. Finished. So we just finished okay. watching the visual Let's learning. go over to examples. An example that I wanted to do with you. It's like 1229 something. If you're following along, we are on page 471 in volume two. We're going to do the number one, do you understand? Okay. <laughs> okay, let's look at this. Do you understand? How can you find the volume of the china cabinet? Let's look here at number one. So, what's the first step we should do if we want to find the volume? Because it says here for number one, 
how can you find the volume of the china cabinet? So what do we do when we have a shape like this, okay? Just in case you guys are confused, we're doing this question right here. How can we make it easier for ourselves to divide, I mean, to find the total volume My of hand the is china raised. cabinet? What can we do? Ariana? Split it in half. Speak up louder. Split it in half. Right, let's split it right here in half. Okay? So we're going to work with, we're going to work with this section first. And then we will work with the bottom section. Make sense? All right, yes. so let's call the top section. It says here for number two, what is the height of the top section of the china cabinet? So the one circled in green. Does it tell us what that section, what that top section is? Does it say how much it is from here no. to here? No. No. No, it only tells us from here the starting very top all the way to the bottom and it tells us it's seven feet so what could we do we know that this bottom section is three feet and this whole section is seven feet but i want to know what just this top section is so what do you think i can do to find that answer hmm. okay. crystal minus seven with the three and then you get four feet very good. Subtract seven from three, and it tells you that that is four feet. Very good. So now, for number three, find the volume of the china cabinet. All right, let's get to work. We'll start with green for, I mean, let's start with the blue first. So, volume equals length times width times height. Okay? So let's plug in those numbers. So, what is the length of the bottom portion? What is the length? Four feet. Somebody call out, please. I can't see both screens. Four feet. Four. Very good. Four multiplied by what is the width? Two feet. Two. Two feet. And what is the height of the bottom portion? Three feet. Three feet. All right. So, 4 times 2 is 8. 8 times 3 is? 24. 24. Very good. So, we know that this bottom section is 24 feet. All right. So, now let's work on our top section or green section. Okay? Let's work on that one. So again, volume equals length times width times the height. So let's plug in those numbers. What is the length of the top section? Hint, it's the same as the bottom. Four. Four. What is the width? How wide is it? One feet. I can't hear you guys. One. One foot. One. Okay, and what is the height? Remember, we did that already. Four feet. Four feet. Four. All right. So four times one is four. Four times four is? Four, eight. Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay, so now we 16. have 24 for the bottom, 16 for the top. What do we do with those two numbers? We have 24. Add them. Very good. Plus 16, and that would give us how much? 4 plus 6 is what? 10. 40. Very good. So the china cabinet, the total volume of this china cabinet is 40 feet. Relax, enjoy, get your brains ready for next week because we have benchmarks. Okay? Capiche? Fish. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. If you have any questions, uh, email me. Email me. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, my God. Finally, school's over. <laughs> so, I'm going to be ending this vlog up here because I have a bunch of stuff to get.
done and I took my note for class today. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the notes I took. They were very little notes because we only, that's all we did today. So I'm going to be ending this vlog off here. It was a short little vlog. It was just saying like what I do in school because I made a video on Tuesday explaining like all the school stuff that I do because I never, I feel like I never really bring school into my videos. I think I did for Vlogmas, but that's really about it. So I wanted to show you guys like my benchmarks and all that stuff, what I do to get ready for the next marking period, which is marking period three. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will post it as soon as I'm done editing it and getting all the stuff done or i'll post it during the night time like i did with the vlogmas and everything like that but thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for tuesday's video i love you you and you and i'll see you guys on tuesday bye